At Alfred Academy, partnerships with businesses and organisations greatly support our work by increasing our capacity and helping us better deliver inspiring learning experiences. We've many partnerships with businesses and academics supporting groups of pupils and individual pupils. Through this, career options are explored. We also find that through our partnerships, we have a better knowledge of the pathways for our young people. And we are now sharing more information with parents to help them help their youngsters make an informed choice post-school. Some really exciting work is going on. We're working very closely with Robert Gordon's university lecturers in our computing science faculty. These lecturers come out and deliver curriculum inserts and mentor individual pupils at higher and advanced higher level, particularly with their project work. In part, we, we obviously are interested in narrowing the gap between school and university. It can often seem to be a very wide gap a big jump for the students but through the work that we, we've been doing and by also bringing students to uh, the university we actually show that th there's not a huge kind of jump that the students have to make when, when they go to university and it uh, I think it just helps them to, to be more at ease with the, the notion of going and studying computer science in a, in a university. Often when I visit um I might give a workshop, but at the end of the workshop, some students may have some projects that they've been working on to show me, and it's really amazing just to see how excited they are to show you all the stuff that they have been doing. It's really great to be able to, you know, give them some input on how they can make it better, improved in some way. Um, but it's really the enthusiasm that you see. Yeah, I think it's, it's absolutely clear that enthusiasm yeah. is is increased by all these activities and, and creativity. Uh, yeah, and and they sort of uh, they sort of explode out of the boundary that the the curriculum that their you know, SQA curriculum mm -hmm. makes them follow and they begin to see beyond that. The Young Engineers Club is open to all year groups from S1 to S6. They are all exposed to different types of technologies, uh, new and, and old, and we try to use all the different skills that we think will be of use to them for when they leave school and join industry. When we began, we were very much interested in trying to learn how to run a car mechanics club. Now, when you do a car mechanics club, you're only going to have people who are interested in, in car mechanics. And that never used to bring a lot of uh, young people to our department. So what I thought was, why don't I go searching for new technologies? And through the search for the different technologies, I ended up making partnership with several companies that have been working with us. The involvement with the school stemmed from my son's involvement in the Young Engineers Club. I was aware of other parents providing boiler suits through the, the organisations they worked with. And I was at the time involved with a couple of organisations I approached and from there it developed into, into a really good relationship and opportunity for, for both parties, I believe. A lot of the information we, we started to share with the kids was around planning. And, and it was really good to, to give them a level of understanding of why we want to plan. When you come into oil and gas, you'll be asked for a plan for a plan. That's the, the, the nature of the world we live in. So it was very good about giving them the opportunity to understand why they need a plan, why they have to stick to a plan. If they can't stick to a plan, who they should communicate with, what the outcome of those communications should be. And it was just starting to give them a flavour of some of the skills and knowledge, conversations, etc. that they may have in future life.